Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Pacific Drive. This is a survival game that just came out this morning. Now, it has been available in various demo forms over the last few months, but I have not played any of them because I wanted to shield myself from the experience of day one. So we're going to jump into this pretty blind. My knowledge of this game extends to that I'm driving around in a station wagon. You know, you can see that on the screen there. And we're going to be building it up and repairing it. And we're someplace where we're not supposed to be. Given my stalker experience through the years, I'm pretty used to anomalies and stuff. So we'll have to see how this works out. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this and we're going to see whether or not you guys want to see more. If you want to see more, you know what you're going to do. You're going to hit the like button. You're going to leave me a comment. And who knows, maybe you'll like it enough that you'll subscribe. So let's just jump right in to Pacific Drive. Okay, I seem to have all the appropriate paperwork. Some of that look redacted. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998. A great year for drives. South of the Barrier Wall. Okay, so I think we should start uh, driving because I'm like slipping back. All right, so we're gonna go forward. It seems like a nice day for a drive. Is there any loot in there? No? Okay, let's keep going. Apparently, I can't get out of my vehicle yet. Okay, steer. Now, if only I could get a deer to run over. All right. I'm sure this is just a mellow game about driving on a beautiful day, and uh, I should probably stay to one side. If another car comes in the other direction, that could be bad. All right, I'm guessing that I don't go that way based on the cave-in. Probably a bad idea. Sometimes those signs actually are very useful. Right. This, um, this little road should be a little bit wider for a two-direction uh, one here. Can't see very well in the other direction. Toggle wipers. Well, it's starting to rain, so we do want to see clearly here. And it does appear to be kind of rainforesty here, so kind of makes sense. Oh my goodness! I guess that's the barrier wall. By the way, why am I here? I mean, this looks like um, tourist stuff here. Is this really a good tourist stop? I'm not quite sure why I'm actually here. I mean, maybe that's the reason I'm not seeing any other vehicles. Okay, let's just be careful. Okay, that's not a very well-maintained road there. Well, hopefully this leads me away from this barrier wall thing. Yes, apparently the uh, the government did something and, uh, well, they locked it behind this wall and they didn't want to tell anybody about what they did. So uh, it's probably a good idea just to get out of here. Okay, we got a wreck over there. Very unfortunate. Looks like it happened a long time ago, though. Right, let's just keep moving so we can get out of here. Uh, the wall gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, remember when it was a beautiful sunny day? It's not there anymore. No, it isn't. Okay. Toggle headlights. I mean, I probably should have had the headlights on already. That's kind of the law in most states, you know? Okay, whoa, 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 what does this say? Can I back up? Can I back up? Warning! Hold on a moment here. Uh, warning! High R level facility. Extreme caution advised. Why am I here again? 
I mean, R levels, I'm guessing you mean radiation? I mean, this does not seem to be a tourist trap, you know? All right, well, I guess maybe we just have to go through here to get to where we're going. Okay, what is this one here? Uh, restricted air... What is going on? Restricted area. Why am I going here? You know, I really think I should start thinking about going back. Uh, warning. Okay, so is this like last warning? Warning, high R levels facility. Extreme caution. Um, okay, well, I'm moving away from it. But yeah, I'm not going in there. That's just crazy. All right, let's just get out of here. Okay, this does not look like a good road. Especially considering the rain. Okay, is it actually still raining anymore? I mean, should I keep this on? I don't need the windshield. I don't want to hurt my, uh, my wipers after all. Yeah, I mean, I keep getting these warning signs. I mean, I'm not seeing... Am I like a, an investigator of some kind? Because this all looks like... Um, like, what is that... Okay, why don't we just keep going? What? 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 What is going on? Um. And the big question is why have I not turned around yet? I mean, I guess maybe I'm just hoping that I can just get. Okay, should I really drive under this? Okay, um... Oh, did they EMP my vehicle? What? Um... That's the last time I listened to that tourist guy! Um, the Olympic Exclusion Zone. Wait a minute, I'm inside? Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Okay, I'm starting to understand why the government didn't want to talk about this. Oh, was that mine? Can I take that? No, but I can push it. Sprint, yes, I, I get the general idea. Okay, that's my engine, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to take that with me. Uh, it was a good vehicle. I like station wagons. I am seriously going to sue somebody over this. That's assuming I actually get out. What is that? I'm trying to figure out what part of my vehicle that is. Okay. I've uh, got some very strange vegetation here, but I do see that there is a cave of some kind. So let's not step on the green grass, the uh, glowing green glass. Okay, caution. Seriously? You have the sign facing this way? Does, does that mean it's worse this way? Okay, and down. Okay, you gotta hold it, it doesn't toggle. So, yeah, yeah, you can do that. Alright, and... Okay, there's nothing written on that. There should be some kind of a thing. Oh, what is this? Okay, jump! Okay, I was actually supposed to jump, but I didn't want to walk through that, so I jumped. Okay, where's that getting power from? Kick. Well, it's a good thing I know Kung Fu. I can just shatter trees. Probably an old tree, though. Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Uh, what a swan, I... Uh, never mind. 
Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Why am I hearing a person in my brain? Oh. Oh. And it's a station wagon. I love station wagons. They're great for vacations. This vacation isn't working out too well, though. No, it isn't. All right. It does seem to have a, uh, a wheel issue in that it's missing one. Okay. E to pick up? Or do I hold E? Yeah, I gotta hold E. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm guessing it goes here. Okay, so that is a, um, a left click, and I gotta hold it. Okay, so... We ready to go? I guess. Okay, so I traded one station wagon for another one. Mind you, it seems to be a little bit on the older side, but if it works, that's good. Hey, look, the keys! Isn't that convenient? Okay, so, I mean, let's go. Oh, oh parking. Yes, it's back, it's back! This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid-zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here! Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Okay, why can I hear this person? I mean, they're in my... Oh, there's a door. Hey, hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? Uh, they, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they, I mean... They're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. You close the shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. I still don't understand how I'm hearing him. Um... Okay, whoa, 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 okay, hold on a second. Parking brake, parking brake. Okay, I'm out of fuel. Okay, there's something up here. Maybe, um... Alright, here, let's get outside. I don't have anything... Oh, what is this? Okay, you can. Okay, what is the chance that this is actually going to have something... I mean, this is just a pile of rust. A pile of rust that apparently has fuel in it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to question it. All right, let's just load this up. Okay, fill. Okay, did I just fill the tank? Maybe there's more in there? Yeah, I should probably be moving. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Yep, 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 yeah, let's just, let's just get out of here. Okay, um, put that in drive. Turn that on. Yeah, let's just, let's just move. This just sounds like a great idea. Let's just get out of here. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Oh, kidding. Could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this breacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant, and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
first, the Breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby! Okay, well, let's just keep going until we fly. find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. Now, Oppie ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Uh, I agree with you. I'm hoping I can identify what it is he's talking about. Um, I don't see anything. Okay, oh, I see lights. Okay, Oppy Auto Shop. Okay, can I move a little bit? Okay, I see an open door over here. Let me just park here for a moment. Okay, so we'll put it in park because I don't want it going away. We're going to turn it off. And let's get out. Okay, we lost that wheel. And I just found it. Okay, but that doesn't look like I'm getting that back on anytime soon. Well, I mean, it is an auto shop. First of all, is there anything up here? Yes, I know, looking inside is probably the best thing you can do first. All right, let me just, uh, let me take care of that first. But someone went to the trouble to build a very nice ramp. Okay. This is in surprisingly good uh, repair. Rocket Cola! That hasn't been around for a while. They went out of business. Um. Okay, apparently we have power. Oh, God. Who's there? Oh, the shop. Oh, God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Oh, oh my head. Uh, it's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We send a breacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and will... Uh, oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not going to care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol... Uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Oh, tell her that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh God, unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Okay, so obviously the first thing I see that there's a backpack here. Oh, what? Oh, you need help? Well, there's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Okay, I am clearly have to get my vehicle over here first, but that's going to be a fun ride considering I'm missing a wheel. I can't pick that wheel up again, right? 
Nope. All right, so I'm guessing maybe whatever I drove over uh, took care of that problem. All right, let's get in. All right, so let's put that in drive. Let's turn this on. All right, let's just be careful because these things usually like four wheels. And okay, it's driving surprisingly well. Sparks should be flying all over the place. All right, right there. Okay, so let's just uh, put that in drive, turn that off, and get out. Okay, she mentioned a headset. Okay, so this is the diagnostic thing, no doubt. Oh, 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 there we go. Pick up. Okay, tend to your wounds at the first aid station. All right, and we're gonna eat that. Okay, now I'm supposed to fix the car. Pull the car in. Put the wheel back on. Okay, can I go get the wheel now? Oh, I can. Not sure why I wasn't able to pick it up before, but I can pick it up now. Oh, did I actually just... Yeah, I got that in my... My hot bar? I thought I'd be carrying. Alright, let's see. Okay, one. There we go. Alright, and... Okay, hopefully it stays on this time. Alright, let's see. Fix the car. Craft a replacement door. Add to your uh, to-do list. Crude door. Open the headset. Okay, we do this. Blueprints. Crude door. Pin to checklist. How do you do that? Right here, right? Okay, I think I got it. Apparently I do. Gather items from abandoned car behind the garage for your or checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Okay, and I'm supposed to still open this up. Why am I open? Okay. Oh, this is the backpack. So I have stuff. How do I get in there? Do I need things? I'm not sure why it's telling me to do that. All right. Craft a replacement door. Gather items from the abandoned car. Search the abandoned... Okay, I'm guessing I would need tools, wouldn't I? Are there any tools around? Because how am I going to... Alright, well, let's just go over here. Alright, uh, be that. Okay, so now apparently I need a pry bar? I just figured that out. Okay, so we have this. I really wish they'd get that thing off my screen, just saying. All right, I have some things here now. This is a mechanics kit. This is duct tape. So I'll put the duct tape down there. And this is the pry bar. Should I just put... Here, can I do this? And then put it in my hands? Okay, so I have this. I have no idea why it keeps putting that up there. All right, let's just do this. Pry open the abandoned car's trunk. Okay, do I do this? Okay, I am left-clicking, and I opened it up. Okay, I got some glass shards. Okay, road flares. Uh, another road flare. Does that stack? Yes, it does. And we got some glass shards, and that stacks too. All right, so is that all we got here? Okay, so what am I supposed to... Okay, that we also got some gas in there, too. That could be useful. Gather items from the abandoned car. Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items. Okay, E this. Okay, what is going on here? Friendly... Dumpster. Did I get anything? 
I mean, scrap the abandoned. Okay. I mean, did I get things? Did it, oh, oh, it threw some stuff on the ground. Okay, but that's just a flare. Um, do you have anything else, friendly dumpster? Apparently not. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? A scrapper. Okay, that's that's completely different right there. All right, why don't we put this in my hands here? Okay, now that's much better. Okay, can I do some scrapping? Can I scrap this? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is where we're getting the parts from. Can I scrap this? Yeah, that is much better. Thank you, friendly dumpster. That was very kind of you. I think it's nice to be polite when friendly dumpsters do nice things for you. All right, and we got some more stuff. I guess I'm just going to grab everything that I can off this thing. And over here. Oh, oh, oh. Can I, uh... The more parts, the better. Of course, I'm not really sure how duct tape was in there. Oh, that is a tire. Can I... It's pretty beaten up, though. Right, okay, so I got some rubber from that, among other things. Now, does anything else shine? Yep, that shines right there. Okay, and some more stuff and some more rubber. Okay, does anything else highlight? Well, I mean, gas. All right, so I think I have everything. Scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, pounds. Yeah, we did that. Craft a crude door in the shop. All right, so I guess we're going to do that now. I mean, we do have a lot of parts on us here, don't we? Okay, we're doing it over here. Okay, so E. Oh, I can actually make a, a scrapper and a pry bar. That's interesting. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the door. Oh, crude door. Okay, scrap metal, I do have that. The plastic, I have that. Duct tape, I have that. And the glass shards. All right, so we're going to hit the craft button. Okay, and apparently, I guess I do now have a crude door. And it's in my hands. So let's just uh, do this. Okay, I'm going to left click. There you go. Okay, that looks like... Oh, it's amazing. Okay, get the repair putty from the locker. Okay, this looks like the locker. Oh, I don't want to I don't want to scrap that. I want to open it. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff in here, including a spare tire. Okay, first aid kit sounds like a good idea to carry that around. Okay, so this is the repair putty. And this is chemicals. Okay, that's a rubber ducky. Oh, it's rubber. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, I would seem to want to take that with me. I mean, a spare tire sounds like a really good idea. I mean, sounds better than the one that I just put on the other one. Just saying. Okay, so I'm guessing... Am I going to equip this? I guess I am. Use the repair putty to repair the car. Really? Okay. And I still don't know why I'm getting this open OS HUD thing. Eh. Okay, so... Hold on a second. Why do I eat it? No, I don't eat it. Oh, right here. Okay, there you go. I guess I have to pick strategic parts of the vehicle to putty. All right, I have a 41% structural parts there on the top right. Does that mean I need to keep doing this? There we go. Oh. Okay, the magical putty. Maybe it's another gift from our friend, the dumpster. Okay, so what about here? This looks like it can use some putty. Okay, we're up to 62%. 69%. All right, let's just keep puttying this thing. Okay, what are we up to now? Can I do a little bit more there? Okay, because it looks kind of worn. How about here? Yep, there we go. 
Maybe it'll grow back a fender. Okay, we're approaching 90%. All right, we got 88. Uh, is there, can I do anything there? No. All right, uh, how about here? No, that's not. Can I putty this? Oh, I can actually putty the wheel. Now, it didn't actually do anything for the structure. But I'm thinking maybe just putting the wheels is just a good idea anyway. Okay. You know, that looks terrible. Maybe that could use some putty. No. That one? No. Okay, I got some putty on this. I must have missed that the first time. Okay, we are rapidly approaching 100. We're just a little bit short. Yeah, I think this wheel here, the one that fell off, could definitely use some putty. You want some putty? There we go. Okay, so what am I going to do here? Do I putty this? Okay, I guess I'm going to putty this door. Okay, but it didn't help the percentage. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, I'm trying to get it to 100%, but it's not doing it. Maybe I should work on the ceiling or something? There, it's only a little section. Okay, what is that? Oh, a bumper. That'd be good. That'd be good to have. All right, I'm trying to find where I'm supposed to putty. Oh, I think I found it. 100%. Okay, skin the flat tire. Alright, how do I skin? Well, this isn't... Oh, it is a flat tire, isn't it? Okay, it looks like C. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? I already scanned it. Now, hold it a minute. Is that the flat tire or is there another one? Oh, is that the flat tire? Okay, hold on a minute here. Yeah, I mean, that's the one, right? It's just, hold it a second, scanning. Okay, repair the flat tire by crafting and using a sealant kit or replace the flat tire with the spare tire found in the locker. I think replacing it is a far better idea. I mean, why would I want to fix a tire when I have a, like, I don't know if it's a new one, but it's a lot better than this, right? Okay, so let's just take this off. Um, so, this way here? Okay, wait a minute. I guess E? Or maybe it's R. There we go. We got it off now. All right, here. Can you put that down? All right, let's just go get this one. All right, I'm going to need to get the putty out of there. There we go. All right, can I put this here? There we go. And I'm going to left click on that. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That's just a better idea. Equip the mechanics kit. Okay, so that's the, this one. No, that's the first aid kit. There's the mechanics kit. Use the mechanics kit to fix the loose wheel. All right, that would be this one over here, right? The one that fell off. All right, so I'm going to do this. Okay, and the mechanics kit exploded. It's just gone. Okay, well, you know what? It fixed the tire. So then it's all right. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Where? Oh, here we go. All right. I mean, it's not really the trunk. It's the back section, you know? Um... Okay, I'm guessing that's storage. Hold on a second. Yeah, it is storage. All right, why don't we put the first aid kit back there? I mean, the repair putty, I don't need it right now, do I? All right, we'll just leave it there right now. Ooh, everything else is like a tool. We'll hold on to that. Install craft mat in the trunk. Okay, is that this? Oh, can I craft things with that? Oh, there's a little 
prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay, the arc device. Oh, there it is. Um, she's being nice all of a sudden. Uh, let's see. Open the door. Install that there. Okay, what does that do? This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Well, that's encouraging. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front of the garage door. Okay. Okay, and then E? Okay, I know how to make a gear now. And what is this impact hammer? Okay, I can make an impact hammer. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Oh, there's a there's a pump right here. Okay. I was thinking I was going to be going out to grab fuel from that, because apparently it does have fuel. But, I mean, obviously, this is a better idea. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's right over here, right? And we filled the whole tank, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, can I put that back? I'll just, like, throw it on the ground, because why not? Align the car with the charging station in the bay. We did that already. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Okay, so, uh, E? If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Uh, projector against the wall. Okay, E. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Well, I mean, I don't have a lot of options, do I? Um, do I click on this? Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Okay, so I'm going to be making a left over here and heading off in this direction, I believe. Am I going to be coming back this way? I mean, is this my base, even though technically it's her base? Because I can't help but notice there were some places that weren't letting me in. See, there's a whole section here. And there's a door with a code in it. And also, I can't help but wonder why this is here. Am I supposed to build on top of it or something like that? I don't know. Anyway, I think that's a good place to leave off. We can start the next episode by driving to our next location and seeing what's going on there. I mean, let's face it, there wasn't a lot of options. Just go there, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so far, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Can we just close that door? Kind of interesting indeed. Uh, I guess we're going to be building this over, over time, and we can actually do our crafting. I'm wondering if the crafting system will pick up on things that are in our storage, or do we have to have them in our inventory? Like, for instance, we have duct tape, but it recognizes there's two duct tape there right now. So do I have duct tape in my inventory? 
Scrap metal, plastic. Yeah, I have two of these. So if I put that in here and I go back over to this, it still recognizes the duct tape. Okay, so that means I can put my crafting materials inside of the boxes and the crafting station will still pick up on that. All right, that's good to know. That's very good to know. Anyway, this is Pacific Drive. And so far, so far, it's kind of interesting. Um, we met a friendly dumpster. Hello again, friendly dumpster. Do you have anything for me? No, you do not. All right, I will check. Except, actually, he did give me something. He gave me another road flare. Thank you, friendly dumpster. It was very nice to meet you. Hopefully, we will interact again in the future. Anyway, like I said, I think that's a good place to call it. Uh, so far, very interesting. I can't wait to see what the game has waiting for us in the future. Anyway, like I said, if you want to see more of this on my channel, please give the video a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.